So if you're familiar with the subreddit uh, Apple Watch, someone posted a deal around January uh, 3rd for a company called Bowsing um, on Amazon.com that was selling bands, uh, about $50 MSRP Chinese made generic bands for anywhere between three to twenty-five dollars. So I bought a bunch and the first batch came in. They were selling JDHDL and Hoko uh, watches. These are probably the silicone knockoff sport band. So I just wanted to show you that it does come from China which explains the two to three week shipping. So I believe Okay, that's the company or the reseller on Amazon and that's asking me to leave a five-star review. So these are the silicone bands. Hopefully it'll fit my wrists. So I'll go ahead and try on a couple of these. And I have this OITTM three-link band from Amazon which is one of the best bands I've ever tried. So if you do get a chance and you need something that sort of matches your uh, Apple Space Gauge Sport, this will probably be the band for you. So it does go in and out. It does push out on the other end, you can see that. Uh, it does say medium to large. does look like stainless steel. It does say 42 millimeter there. It does stick out just a tiny bit, if you can tell. No one else will notice that. Even with the official Apple silicone, I only feel comfortable on the third from the last um, class placement. But unfortunately with this Chinese knockoff, that is a little too tight. So I'm gonna have to go with the second to last. It feels just like the Apple silicone bands, but it's not excessively thin. It actually feels just as thick as the Apple bands. So let's try to take this off. That's no problem at all there. Yep, no issues taking these off. But for some reason, the white band packaging is different than the black and the blue. Even the stickers on the outside, this has quality control. This, the other two just says designed for. The way they're packaged is different as well. So I'm assuming the reseller bought all these from different plants, different manufacturers. They're almost flush to the point where you probably won't notice too much. There is a slight gap there if you can see that. So if we're looking for any wiggle room here, that's about all you get if you can see just the edge of this moving out. And unfortunately, I can see why the packaging is different now because there are no markings here. And while the black ones has these markings, 42 millimeter, medium large if you can tell if I can get it in frame this black band actually is longer so this is the small to medium this is the medium to large I contacted the seller on amazon.com 
because I had looked online and confirmed that the product listing stated that we get the clasp and two sizes as well per band. So that should be the small to medium, which will be up to 115 millimeters, and the medium to large, which is up to 140 millimeters for one end. The seller got back to me in a few hours through Amazon.com and stated that since I paid a sale promotion and the shipping cost too much, they said they would reimburse me for my entire order here, which was just about six dollars so it was actually about two dollars per band on sale um, they did state that it was their mistake and they've been asking me to post five star reviews you got the stainless steel it's color matched so even the pogo pins there are blue on one side it does say 42 millimeters on this one just like the black one did on the back of this it does say it is a small to medium You can tell the white one does not say that. So the black and blue seem to be from the same company because they are marked, although they are different sizes. The white one seems to be some other company. So I suppose this blue will not fit me either. The fit is, the fit to the watch is nice. There's hardly any wiggle room, it's not going to slide out on its own. Again, it's just slightly poking out there. Not enough for anyone else to notice. Too small for my wrists. But that's what it looks like on a Space Gray Sport. So this has been the JDHDL Sport Silicone Bands from seller bowsing on amazon.com.